<clears throat> so I want you to pretend that this is a rock. This is a wooden rabbit, but I'm going to draw on it, and I'm going to show you exactly what was going through those the, the minds of the makers of this art. So we've got a rabbit, so the first thing we're going to need is a little rabbit eye. Now, coincidentally, that eye and this nose, if that's a nostril, using that as a lip coming down, okay? But also, if you put an eye right about there, that could be a nose, and that's a lip, okay? But also, if you put an eye right there, that's an eye, that could be a nose with a little uh, mouth right down there, okay? Now, if you go this way, then you got a bird right there, okay? If you go this way, you can put the eye right here for an eye, nose, mouth. And that also works for this, eye, nose, mouth, okay? And if you want to focus on just here, then you can put a little dot right about there and call that a snake head, okay? If you want to get crazy, you can put a couple nostrils right there, a couple eyes right there, and then that would be the mouth. If you want to get even crazier, two eyes, two nostrils, those are actually the eyes as well for this bird, okay? Now let's take a look at this side. So we've got those eyes, then that's a nose, and that's a mouth, okay? And then if you want to get crazy, We'll call that two eyes, and then upside down, it's a bird as well. And let's make those nostrils and make eyes right there. Okay. So that's kind of what we're dealing with. That's 14 images. Here, let's throw some nostrils right there. That's 14 images without even using this side. So it's multifaceted. You flip it. And it just... That's just what they did. They would find... Let's say they saw a rabbit in a stone, or they saw something that had an eye, and they could use it, and then they would just go nuts. Just like that, and before you know it, the whole stone would be covered. So that's, that's a really good explanation. Um, I hope that makes sense to you, but that's what I got for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.